everyone, I'm Kathy Lee with BK4X. Dollar yen is one of the most popular currency pairs to trade just behind the euro dollar. And just as you are, you're already trading it. But if you are trading the Japanese yen, there is one thing you need to understand thoroughly. It is known as a funding currency. But what does that really mean? To start, dollar yen is the classic US dollar trade. When investors are bullish US dollars, they like to trade it through dollar yen. And when they are bearish US dollars, they like to sell dollar yen. Part of the reason why dollar yen is such a popular pro and anti US dollar trade is because like its aging population, nothing ever happens quickly in Japan. Japan has maintained a zero to negative interest rate since the late 1990s, more than 20 years. They cut interest rates to record lows to boost inflation and growth. And even with 20 years of zero to negative interest rates, the economy is barely growing. And a large part of that has to do with their aging and falling population affecting consumer demand. All of this is important because this extraordinarily low interest rate is exactly what makes the Japanese yen such an attractive funding currency. Think about it. You can borrow money in yen, pay next to nothing, and invest that money in New Zealand bonds, for example, yielding more than 4%. Does that sound like a good deal? It's a great deal. That's how many institutional investors and money managers who can easily move money from one part of the world to another and with favorable exchange rates actually do. But they will only do it if they feel that the New Zealand dollar will either maintain or appreciate in value and the Japanese yen won't increase in value. Take a moment to think about that. If you borrow money in the Japanese yen, you do not want the yen to rise in value because what that means is that you would need to convert more money into yen to pay off the loan. Alternatively, if you've invested your money into the New Zealand dollar, you don't want to see the value of the New Zealand dollar fall because even if you're earning the higher interest rate, the face value of your investment is lower, which erodes your return. So as long as Kiwi yen exchange rate stays stable or appreciates in value, you're good. So when does the New Zealand dollar Japanese yen pair actually rise in value? When investors are optimistic and willing to take on riskier bets. Usually that happens in bull markets. But when we are in bear markets, investors are nervous and those risky bets don't look that attractive because a country like New Zealand is very sensitive to growth in the rest of the world. It'll be very difficult for New Zealand's economy to grow if there's a global contraction. It stands to benefit, however, from a global growing economy. So that is why when the Dow is falling 100, 200, 300 points or more, yen crosses like Kiwi yen, Aussie yen, Euro yen, CAD yen come under selling pressure. And that's a trading opportunity. If stocks are soaring, chances are Kiwi yen, Aussie yen, Euro yen, CAD yen are trading higher as well. Fundamental principles like this is important to understand because they can help you select the right trades and avoid the wrong ones. Combining fundamentals with technicals and this understanding is how I kicked off the year with the 10th consecutive winning month. This track record shows how well my zip strategy traded since June of 2021. Only one losing month of 60 pips. This past week, we had some really great zip signals in the yen, including dollar yen on Friday after the strong non-farm payrolls report, over 100 pips of continuation, and this Kiwi yen zip sell signal the day before. If you want to learn how to make pips with Zip, try us out for a week. There's a special dis uh, link in the description below. And hit the alarm to subscribe to get our latest YouTube videos um, as they are posted.